It's time for Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. A Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. Brought to you by Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Plan your next vehicle purchase or get your credit rolling in the right direction with Regina today. And now, Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You're listening to Be In The Driver's Seat, and I'm your girl, Regina, Regina Eileen Water, a.k.a. the queen of car loans. And I got my two favorite people, my two favorite people in the studio this morning. Good morning, Dr. T. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's Dr. T. Hey, good morning. It's Mr. Trust the Process. Happy Saturday. It's so good to be back home. Ooh, you know what? I feel the energy this oh, morning. So I feel the energy. Home. Yeah. It is so good to be back home. Um, beautiful. It's almost it ain't quite summertime weather yet, is it? It's, 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 but it's it's getting there. It's yeah, getting there. Way. We got about a week out. Okay. We're it's, about a week out. About a week yeah, out. Well, one day is seventy five. One day is sixty five. One day is sixty. What's going on with the weather? God is doing what He want to do. I like that. I like that. He definitely doing what He want to do. Showing up and showing out. Well, you know, let me just say this morning, you know what? The devil tested me in so many ways, but Ooh, God pulled but me you, through this morning. Man, you should have. You know, she, she was in here bobbing and weaving, oh, Jack, and oh, counterpunching. She wasn't just taking the hit. She gave some, too. Listen. And I, oh, I, I just to watch it in full scale, Dr. T. Listen, she just need to tap in because God will give his angels charge over you. Oh, man. You hey, man, give it to me again. You give it to me again. You don't fight the battle. The battle doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the Lord. So all you got to do is cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. So instead of getting mad, cast. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Man, and no she, other just, way. Ooh, she just had that skill set of emotional intelligence. <laughs> I mean, I heard, the, I heard the phone calls. You know what I'm saying? I know what that would have done to her a year ago. You know, but that emotional intelligence kicked in. The spirit, Holy Ghost, just kind of moved in on her, and she started doing things with a smile. She started know, saying, you give it then it had a little she tech. Over she here had a little there. tech issue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what that tech issue would have been for her about a year ago. Oh, she said it was coming oh, out. Oh man, she said, "Oh, can you, can you, can you, please, um, can you go get him?" Um, and, then, and then as I'm as I'm getting out, you know, I'm because I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm thinking it's about to come out. She said, "Can you, um, please go, um, get um, Mr. Buck, um, please." And I said, oh, that's the second round. I said, ooh, she around here getting that work. And I know the stress that she's up under right now. We just talked about it, right? And she just, you know, but that just, to see the growth, to see people in that light, to see other people who are, you know, who who taking those battles. You know, one thing is about being in the studio with you and just watching y'all both is the fact that y'all are not just, counter punchers y'all don't just let the devil come in and do something to you then we don't see you for weeks at a time or nothing yeah, like that i do not play y'all, ball head games yeah, oh the man devil. y'all don't listen do it, y'all don't no. understand i you know sometimes when you're away from home you see some things that just ain't in your house mm-hmm. and for for show sure, there's no place like being at home i've been on the road i've been i've been taking my own little shots but the energy that i get from y'all the things that's happening in this room just the messaging that's been happening in the past couple of months and weeks. I mean, y'all just have just really blown it out the water and there's no place at home. I'm so grateful. Um, and I know that's going to be our word for the day. But listen, you 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 took that thing. Oh, you mm-hmm. took that thing by the horn, girl. Well, you know what? That's why they call me the queen. You know, so a- as you get as you get older, you get wisdom. As yeah. you surround yourself with different folks and the same folks that make you grow. You know, I got to get some of my growth to Dr. T because Dr. T said, you, get that to I told, you know, I got to give it to the Lord. But, we you know, yeah. God, you've been in my life for many years, Dr. Yeah. T. But, you know, as far as being closer to me now, because if, man, you know, when you got a, a, a God righteous person in the room. So, a lot of times. A true it, one. It, it, yes. It, a be, true it, one. It, it caused you to react a different way. Mm-hmm. It caused you to calm down, to not just go boop. Because I was about to go boop, 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 boop. <laughs> but I didn't. You know, God led me into the right way when the devil stepped in. But hey, let's go ahead and get started today. We got to get let's started. Rock. Our word of the day is, our Ooh. word of the day, the word of the week is grateful. And you know what? This is 
comes on in on everything, Dr. T, and yeah. trust the process, Gil Hill. Gil, yeah. Gil, 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 Gil. I like that, Gil. Gil, Gil. Gil. <laughs> <laughs> Gil We're not calling you Gil Garris because oh, I know. met I met uh, Hill Harper yeah. this weekend at mm-hmm. Clarissa Shields um, fight. She shout fight, out to the champ. Uh, shout out to the champ. She uh, actually was the first woman fight at Little Caesars Arena. Yeah, she was. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, right. she... she I almost she, sold that thing out, too. Yeah, she, she, she did her thing. She did, yeah. thing. She did her thing. Since she did. talking about her, congratulations to her. She bought a thousand youth. She brought a yeah. thousand youth from the Flint, Flint. Pontiac, Detroit area yes. mm-hmm. to the arena. So shout out to Clarissa Shields for showing love. I love her story. You know, I am a sucker for a good story. And she talked about how the youth center in Flint impacted her life. And it's because of the impact she received there that she reached back and helped those students see or helped those kids see that your beginning does not dictate your end. Mm. That you can take your talk mess, to us, talk your to very us. mess. Mm-hmm. God can take your mess and turn it into a message. And that you don't have to stay in a broken state. Mm. Yes. You can get mm. up and you can move and go forward. Mm. So shout out to you, uh, champ. Appreciate you. The GOAT. The GOAT. The, GOAT. the girl. The G-W-O-A-T. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. She can't okay. hold all them belts. Right. Listen, she had help. Yeah. So. But you know what? We got to put a, put a word out there because we want to have the champ, Clarissa Shields, Flint, Michigan, um, born and raised in Flint, Michigan, now known across the world. We want to have her on our show, so hopefully we can, you know, make that happen real soon. Hopefully in the next 90 days. I know that she has a new movie coming out, and, uh, you know, I'm excited mm. about the great things that she is doing. She is, I believe she's 28, and, uh, I mean, she's doing some unbelievable yeah. things in this world. Um, you know, so yeah, shout out to her and shout out for her being the role model that she is. She's always positive and, uh, you know, I follow her on, um, social media and I had a chance to meet her through a mutual, um, I call her my sister, Lil Bird, Alexander Riley. I got, got a chance to meet Clarissa Shields and be in her, um, mm-hmm. actually in her company a few times. And I was very impressed. She's humble. Um, she speaks very well and she's just a nice, a nice lady. Very nice lady. Role model. I mean, help me out. Everybody on their phone this morning. Everybody talking to me. What's going on? Help me out here. Hey, listen. So, doing, yeah, I'm calling everybody out right now. I'm calling both of them out. So, so help me out. Think we were able to, as a matter of fact, when... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when y'all like that? I was catching up like on that? these highlights. When, when, you know what I mean? When Dorinda Clark had her concert in Detroit, Clarissa Shields came. And mm. she sat with us, and even though we didn't really get to have a conversation because the concert was going on, we were uh, able to be in the, you know, her company. And so again, she does do things for the community. She is out here, and we appreciate her. And we're waiting for our interview with her. We're waiting for her to come so that she can share her story right here on Bids. I mean, just outside of what I've seen. Just on social media, uh, a couple. I know some friends who are connected with her. Um, I've only had a chance to be in their presence just as a, a security personnel, but never kind of interacting the way you guys did or have with her. Um, and I was very, you know, I was listening, you know what I mean? And that's one thing that I'm starting to do a lot more when it comes down to stars and people who are really in that limelight and things of that nature is to really, what, what are other people of confidence, other people of good character, other people of you know, knowledge and wisdom. What what do those people say about you? Yeah. You can always have the people, the haters. You're going to have them, collect them Absolutely. as much as, as possible. So that's why I was really attentive to what you were saying about her because I really wanted to know who she was outside of being a fighter. Like, I, I rewatched the fight, right? But I, I like to watch the behind-the-scenes stuff and mm-hmm. some of the things that she was doing. And one of the most impressive things that I liked about her, and Mayweather does this a, a lot too, is she after she uh, won the fight, she celebrated. That was a thing, but she did a teachable moment with her opponent. Yeah, she showed her opponent where she was making her mistakes. Now, this is somebody who can possibly, I think, this is their, their second time fighting. So, this is somebody on the third time she can fight that she's going to have to upgrade her level again, right? But, but that's her. But the thing about Clarissa, Clarissa is that's her friend. I mean, yeah, they're not. You friend. know, they have a relationship, yeah. mm, okay. and. And and you know the lady is a good her opponent is a good fighter mm-hmm. right yes, yes. but the only reason she was able to actually stay in the zone with Clarissa because she was good on her feet 
Yeah. Because if she, she wasn't good on her she feet, had right she, yeah. she had a right hand. Yeah, she had a right hand. She's good on her feet. But Clarissa, if Clarissa would have got a couple more knock, they she would have knocked her yeah. on the floor. But see, I, and I love Clarissa again because Clarissa, she hugged her. Yes, she, she did. Was, yeah. Yes, she did. Genius. She like, was a genius. Yes. A, yes. That is her yes. friend. And yes. But I also, that was a teachable moment for all of us because guess what? We may be in a ring together and we may have a job to do, but at the end of the day, it's all love. Mm-hmm. It's all love. Mm-hmm. And so she didn't walk away. Most fighters, they walk away, they angry. They walk away bitter. She didn't walk away yeah. angry and bitter. She walked away after hugging her friend and collecting her belt. Man, I was I was just really impressed. Now, that's a champ. That's, that that's a, a champ. champ. As a people's champ. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yep. Remember back in the, like, yep. like I wouldn't say back, I yep. don't like use, I don't even like using words back in the day, but we, you know, the people's champ, that's what you should look for when you're looking for a champion or you say somebody is that person or that guy or that or who they, or that girl or whoever, you know, may be. How do they treat people when the cameras are off? How do they treat people when they're at their highest? Mm-hmm. You know, that was the highest moment for Carissa Shields. She yeah. could have took... And you know how hard she had to fight all the doubters, bringing a fight back home, yeah, right? All the some she in an interview she said, "How people dare call me at an interview? Like you call, they called her, called her phone, family, some, supposedly family and friends. Where my tickets at? You know, this is the biggest day of her life. All these oppositions she had to handle, and it was just good that I, you know, got a chance to see the behind the scenes. But it's even better to hear y'all personally talk about the character of who she is and how she is." And again, that and you know that helps me want to, you know, push out her brand more, push out her platform more, make sure that she's have access to things that she hasn't. Well, you so, know what? So I'm, we got it. We got it. We 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 we're getting into it, but we got to get into our word today. Then we got to come back and get into our other part, our you know community things that we talk about every month. The businesses. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So um, but so grateful. So grateful to me, of course. You know, I'm always going to take it back. To God, um, I'm grateful for life, absolutely. But the Bible tells us in First Thessalonians 5 and 18 to give thanks to the Lord in all things because this is the will of God for us. And so I am thankful for breath. I'm thankful for sight and for movement of my body. But most of all, I'm thankful that I get to represent Christ every day. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I don't, you know, I, I don't do you know always... if I could, you know, let me, let me get behind that yeah, one, okay? Do. Because, you know, I, I can't, do. I can't top it because she, when she, when she bring the word out, when Dr. T brings the word out, you know, you can't top it, you know, you can't top it. But let me just say this. So when I think of grateful, I think of being grateful for being able to wake up every morning, yeah. to be able to breathe, to be able to be thankful for all the to, for, for my for being able to walk, being able to talk, being able to have to be in good health, mm-hmm. to be able to get up and go to my job, mm-hmm. to be able to get in my car, to be able to have um, my friends and family, yeah. to be able to have my blood relatives. Right when I say my blood relatives, because a, a lot of my friends in Michigan are my family. Mm-hmm. Not, not a lot of my friends, but my close my close people that's to my heart who you always see me with. They're my family. You know, they are they are blood to me. You know, they didn't actually come from like blood, like uncle, mother, father, we, you know, family like that. But they're my family. Why? Because they're for me. They're there for me when I need them. Mm-hmm. They if, if I post something on Facebook that shouldn't be there or if I'm acting a certain way, they'll be in my text or calling me saying, OK, what, what you got going on? You know, they're able to check me. Right. Yeah. Everybody can check their friend or somebody they call their friend or their family. So I'm grateful for that. Amen. I'm, I'm just, I'm, and then even this morning, this beautiful Saturday morning, for the, all the couple things that came at me real quick, I had three things come at me real quick in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Dr. T, you was in the room to act, I just looked at you and I was like, boom. Instead of me just going like, boom, like Gil said I would a year ago, I can't, I just kind of just, I had just, I dealt with it. You know what I mean? God put the words already in my head to put the words come on my mouth to be grateful and say the right words and not say the wrong thing because of me being angry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Gil. I don't (laughs) um, You pretty much both said it all and I, but the gratefulness that I, I have and has had to sink in these last few months, I'm grateful for God. 
that is really that I'm grateful for God and his mercy mm-hmm. and his who he is and who I have become because of the obedience of when he tells me to do something, just having the ability to change, having the ability to not be the same person I was 10 years ago, 10 minutes ago, 10 hours ago. I'm grateful to be a husband again. I am grateful to be able to be a leader, to, to accept a position that God can trust me with the minds of his people, Mm -hmm. with the heart of his people, Mm -hmm. and he can trust me to lead them in the direction that he would want them to go, and he understands my heart is sensitive enough that I hear how he wants them to be guided. I am grateful to be sitting in this seat. This is an opportunity to bless so many people. I am grateful for this moment, for this time, for this second this minute, I am grateful for today. You know, I'm so glad that everybody is grateful this morning. But let me just say this. What are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for today? We all said that we what we are grateful for, and it came from our heart. But what are you grateful for today? But we're going to be right back, and we're going to talk about um, community events, what's going on in the community uh, around Oakland County. And hopefully we got something from Detroit. But if you want to actually... Email us and you want to let us know what's going on in your community or business, you can email us at be in the driver's seat at gmail.com. Be in the driver's with an S seat at gmail.com. Hi, Joe Lunghammer here from Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet with Regina, the queen of car loans and the queen of community. Isn't that right, Regina? That's right. When you buy a car from me, you get on the road in style and you'll be enrolled in the Joe and the Queen's Community Program where we help you work your way towards better credit. Joe knows it's good to help our community here in Waterford and Metro Detroit. To find me, Google Regina, the queen of car loans. Chevrolet, find new roads. Are you paying high interest rates on a car loan? Do you desire to purchase a home, but you're unable to get approved? Perhaps you're repeatedly getting denied for credit when applying for credit cards. Listen, better credit doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. I've helped hundreds of people better their credit and their overall financial situation by applying a simple set of instructions that anyone can follow. Call me today, 1-800-988-9184. That's Kathy Watt. Washington, your financial impact coach at 1-800-988-9184. Don't delay. Call today. Regina, the queen of car loans here with Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others may have roadblocks. Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed and driving today. Simply Google Regina, the queen of car loans. Ride in style with the Queen. Regina, the Queen of Car Loans at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet in Waterford. Chevrolet, find new roads. You are still listening to Be in the Driver's Seat, and we're excited. Now is the time that we shout out businesses. So we're excited. So the first business we're shouting out today is Lorraine's Premium Barbecue Sauce. Now, Lorraine's has several uh, locations where the sauce is being sold, whether you're in Detroit, Lansing, Tritton, Bloomfield, Birmingham, Southgate, or Commerce, you can get this sauce. You got to get this sauce. So contact Larry Crockett at 734-934-0126. Again, 734-934-0126. Or you can reach him at Larry's at Lorraine's Barbecue Sauce dot com. You got to get that sauce. Oh, and the second business we're going to shout out today is Speaking to the King. Um, Lakeisha Jean is the writer and producer for uh, cards, greeting cards called Speak to the King. Um, And you can reach her on Facebook at Speak to the King or TikTok Speak to the King. And these greeting cards are cards specifically for men. Father's Day is coming up, and this is a great way of expressing your concern and heartfelt messages messages and warm felt messages to the special man in your life. Well, you know, I got to piggyback on that one because, you know, Father's Day is a special day for me because, um, you know, my father is not here and um, I have, you know, other 
uh, men out there that have been my like my father since my father passed in 2008. And um, I'm super excited. I want to hear more about the cards because the special people that are in my life, um, I want to send my card this way. Uh, this year. I got my uncle. His name is um, Herbert Woodard. Um, my dad actually left him in charge. My dad died. He was uh, ill when he passed away. He had cancer. But he came together and said, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving your uncle in charge. You know, if you need anything, you want to talk, you call him. Then I got some other people that I consider my dad, too. I'm not going to shout their names out because if they're listening, um, they'll be a little mad because I didn't mention their name. But did you have something, Dr. T.? Yes, the next uh, business that we're shouting out is Meraki by Mariah Denise. She is a phenomenal hairstylist in the city of Detroit. She specializes in natural hair, braids, men's braiding, and custom wigs. You can reach her at 313-985-3696. Again, that's 313-985-3696. And the next business we're going to shout out is Twin Tacos. He has the most amazing tacos. He's located at Ryan and Seven Mile. You can uh, you can follow, follow him on Instagram and TikTok at Twin Tacos. And every Friday he makes this amazing fish sandwich that you have to taste. Twin Tacos. Then I have Leon's, Leon's Frosty Treat. Am I saying that right? Leon's, you are. Woo, can woo. you believe that? Because it's on, easy. Frosty because treat. it's easy, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Leon's Frosty Treat is located on 477 Arbonne Avenue, Pontiac, Michigan, 48341. That's Leon's. Frosty Treat, 477 Arban Avenue, Pontiac, Michigan, 48341. Telephone number is 248-332-3310. I hope that number's right. But 248-332-3310. But you guys know how to Google, look on Facebook. If you are looking to get that ice cream, that drink this summer, stop on by the Leon's Frosty Treat. They are under new ownership. We want to just make sure that we support people in the community. Why do we want to support people in the community? Why? It's because we're in their community, right? Yeah. And we want to buy gas in the community. We want to go to the stores in the community because we want those small businesses to what? To stay around. Yes. And I have one more. The last one that I have is Kids Palace Learning Center located in Redford, Michigan. Listen, Kids Kids Palace Learning Center is open from 5.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. They provide all meals and an excellent preschool program. They have summer camp coming, so for parents who need somewhere for their children to go, please contact Miss Micah, who is the director, at 313-265-0086. Again, that's Kids Palace Learning Center, 313-265-0086. Well, you know, now, you know, I want to talk about what's going on in the community. So every Thursday night, you have ballroom stepping. So get your shoes on, get get your right shoes on. I don't know whether you wear tennis shoes or, you know, Gil over here dancing in the studio on this Saturday morning. But get your ballroom shoes on and get to stepping with DJ Chris Kelly. DJ Chris Kelly. Yes. It's going to be at Ruth Peterson Center, located at 990 Joslin, Pontiac, Michigan. Again, it's DJ Chris Kelly. He's doing his thing, teaching everyone how to ballroom and step. Located at Ruth Peterson Center, 990 Joslin, Pontiac, Michigan. It's ballroom every Thursday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and the cost is only $5. And the time is 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., Five dollars. Cash out. Cash is accepted. So this next, no food stamps. No food stamps. <laughs> this next the this next event is for everyone in the community. DHHS. South Central presents All Things Prevention Resource Fair. This is a resource fair that's giving out free diapers, free groceries. This will be located at 1801 East Canfield Street in Detroit, Michigan. This is happening on June 21st. 
of this year from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You don't want to miss this. You have an opportunity to win some um, items as well. They have some sponsorships that are there. The purpose is to effectively collaborate with the community and the members with agencies and provide resources to families. So if you're in need of diapers, they're giving out free car seats. They're giving out free groceries. Please, please, please make sure that you go to 1801 East Canfield Street in Detroit on June the 21st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have Pontiac's first official City of Pontiac Juneteenth Freedom Day event sponsored and brought on by the City of Pontiac. It's going to be located at it's going to start at 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Bagley Street, celebration featuring activities, history, and storytelling. And then there's going to be a parade at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Bagley to down, from Bagley Street to downtown Pontiac. And then from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., downtown activities and firework is going to take place at June the 17th. June the 17th, this is a Juneteenth Freedom Day event. If you want any more information, contact the city of Pontiac at Pontiac.com slash Pontiac events. Juneteenth event, Freedom Day event, Pontiac's first official Juneteenth celebration. June 17th, we starting at 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., starting on Bagley Street. I think is that I think Ronnie McNear to Fort Tops is actually, is he, um, is he, Singing then or performing then? Yeah, he's supposed to be there as well. Okay. Hey. The next community event that we will be highlighting is the Treasure Within. This is a nonprofit organization um, that was created by Lakina Folks. This is a mentorship program for young young girls from age eight to eighteen, eight to nineteen, and they have a mentorship program that's starting on June twenty third. And if you are interested in someone you know is interested in having their young lady come, where she could be motivated, empowered, uplifted, and her self-esteem built as we teach leadership skills to her please reach out to the treasure within.org and register her today so our next community event we're having is sponsored by pontiac meals on wheels foundation they're having their third annual father's day blues in the park saturday june 10th 2023 celebrating our seniors it's going to be located at Bernadette Park, known as the Mill Dam, 786 Orchard Lake Road, Pontiac, Michigan. Special performances by Casper Perry, Mr. Chon Chon Slide. Casper Perry. And then another special performance by Pontiac's own Jerry, the Blues Guy Harris. Come on out and support. Also, you have the Air, a- the air Agency on AG1 and B. Then you have the sponsors are the City of Pontiac, Gateway Build, Eugene Hawkins State Farm, Kano Phillips, and Peter's Executive Coach, and Detroit Soul and Blues. That's all I have in community events. Do we have anything else, Dr. Yes, T? the last one we have is just a reminder that the Mother Irma Jean Ward Foundation presents Enough is Enough Rally Against Gun Violence. This is happening in the city of Detroit on Linden Street, L-Y-N-D-O-N Street in Detroit. And this is taking place on Saturday, June 24th from 12 noon to 5 p.m. There will be fun and fellowship in the park. We have special um, guests that will be performing. We also so we'll have a uh, therapist speaking and other persons praying. Come out, bring your families so that we can stand against gun violence. Again, that's at the Jada Rankin Park on Linden Street in Detroit for the Mother Irma Jean Ward Foundation. Thank you, Dr. T. I have one more Juneteenth event, and it's brought on by the wonderful ladies of the Pontiac Alumni Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. It's a Juneteenth event fundraiser. It's going to be at the Lynx at the Crystal Lake at 800 Golf Drive, Pontiac, Michigan. The time is going to start at 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. It's going to be June 16th. Come and hear about uh, some wonderful celebration. It is to celebrate the emancipation, liberation, and freedom, exploring culture through the arts and entertainment. 
All white attire is encouraged. And again, it is brought by to you by the Pontiac Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta and Corp Sorority Incorporated. Juneteenth event, the links at the Crystal Lakes, 800 Golf Drive in Pontiac, Michigan. Again, if you know, if you want us to mention your business, mention a community event, we want you to reach out to us and email us at... You can email us at be in the driver's seat at gmail.com. Be in the drivers with an S C at gmail.com. Or if you want to be a guest on our show, or you just want to be a part of the show and you want to advertise, you can also email us. And you can hit us also besides the email address. You can go to our Facebook page and like our page. That's be in the driver's seat. And then we do have a YouTube channel where we're looking to grow our subscribers on YouTube. So that's be in the driver's seat on YouTube. And then also we have an Instagram account. And then we also have our personal pages too. So we're all over the place. So we, what we're concentrating on now is we want you to be more involved in our show. We want to know what's going on in the community. You are our, our eyes and ears. So and we want you to reach out to us through email. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Hi, Joe Lunghammer here from Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet with Regina, the Queen of Car Loans, and the Queen of Community. Isn't that right, Regina? That's right. When you buy a car from me, you get on the road in style, and you'll be enrolled in the Joe and the Queen's Community Program, where we help you work your way towards better credit. Joe knows it's good to help our community here in Waterford and Metro Detroit. To find me, Google Regina, the Queen of Car Loans. Chevrolet, find new roads. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Lunghammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet, find new roads. Looking to buy or sell your home? Whether you're relocating to Michigan from another state or another country, moving across town, upgrading, or downsizing, Brenda D. Davis from Century 21 Town & Country Real Estate is your locally known home purchase expert. Buying or selling your home is a complex process. Let Brenda simplify it every step of the way. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. Call 248-909-9711 and get moving on your new home purchase or sale today. That's 248-909-9711. Call now. We're back and you still listen to Be In The Driver's Seat. And the favorite part of our show is once a month we have on Allen Girl Basic with Stockton Mortgage. And I'm finally getting his name right after what? Three months? Four months? Is that right, yeah, Dr. T? I'm just smiling. <laughs> is, that, is that right, Alan? You got I'm a finally perfect getting spot it right, on. right? Spot, spot on. on. I'm just laughing. You know, we, we, we have Alan on once a month because we want to let you know just, I mean, the, the things that you can do to get a mortgage. Yeah. Questions about refinancing and just knowing that the most important, well, the major purchase you make in your life is a house. Yeah. Most people purchase a car first, but everybody can be a home ownership. But... This week, we're going to be talking about the do's and the don'ts of doing what, Alan? So the process of getting your mortgage. What do you do? What do you don't do while you're going through that process? Because it's not done until you get to the closing table. Mm -hmm. It's not done until you get to that closing table and sign those documents. So you got to be careful all the way through and make sure you're doing the right things. You know, I think when, when I think about the do's and the don'ts, I think where people just think, they know everything. Mm -hmm. What you don't know is when people don't want to ask that question and they're, they're scared like, oh, well, I, you know, I may sound dumb. But, you know, no, one, no qu question, no question is a dumb question. Mm -hmm. I always tell people that in the car business. You know, if you don't know, then you, you, you I don't want to say you're ignorant, but you just, you just, you're making yourself look crazy. You need to ask. I was yeah, you need to ask. I was going to start with the don'ts, but I'll start with the do's. It's the number your, one do. world today. The it's number one do is communication. Mm. Talk to us. Tell us what's going on. Ask us questions. That's our number one thing. I want you going through this process to know exactly what you're doing, why you're doing it, why I'm asking for stuff, why, where, where, where your money goes to throughout the process, all of this. You need to ask questions. So communication and asking those questions. No question's a stupid one. 
Wow, that's good, Alan. And so when I hear you say that, even as a therapist, we have to, you know, we have to start somewhere. So we ask questions. But can you tell the listeners that, you know, when a customer comes and they're not a, a, a potential client and they really don't know what questions should they be asking, how do you help them along the way? Like, I don't know what to look for or ask for when I come and sit in front of you. Is there a rule book or is there a list of questions that should be asked? You know, it, there's a lot to do with the mortgage process. There's a lot of things that you need to know. I will tell you, if you sit down with anybody but us and that person does not make you feel comfortable, make you walk out of that room or hang up that phone and understand what you're up against, what you're going to be doing, then you need to call us because we do that. We're going to answer those questions, the, the, the most important questions, we're going to answer up front for you. So we'll guide you through that whole process and make sure that you understand everything. I have a lot of engineers as clients, and it's funny because like, I get on the phone with them, and one of the first things that I do with a first-time home buyer is go through, okay, you've got your down payment, but that's not enough. You need closing costs. You need to make sure that you have enough for closing costs and escrow accounts and other prepaid items. I walk them through how we calculate and where all that money goes to, especially as a first time home buyer. So with engineers, it's, it, it's funny, I'll, I'll go through them in detail, line by line, explain how we come up with those numbers. And even they walk away like, how, what? But it's okay. It's okay. You just need to know where that money is going and why it's going there. For the purpose of just knowing that, and then you, and you speak about engineers, what do you tell that first home buyer who is a, a single mom who is now looking for, hey, where I'm going to start, you know, uh, educational process for my, my, my student, my, 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 my young scholar here. What do you tell that single mom who's juggling all these things? Like, how do you explain it to her? For sure, for sure. Some, some, sometimes I won't go into that great a detail. Gotcha. You know, and, and sometimes I just make sure that they understand. You know, here's the closing costs. Here's the escrows. Here's the prepaids. We're all the same. We all have the same. Sometimes there's extra closing costs. Sometimes people charge extra points and all this other stuff. But relatively, we all charge the same fees. And then, as far as escrows and prepaid items. They're the same across the board. So, Alan, so. what I heard from you is like some of the do's is to be uh, have communication and also be transparent. What are the, some other things that we should look for or, you know, some more do's that we should expect when we're purchasing a mortgage? So a couple of things. Get pre-approved first. Sorry. Um, get pre-approved first. Make sure that you know what your what your budget is. Make sure you know what that payment's looking like. Make sure that you're comfortable. So wait, wait, wait. So when you say budget, I mean DTI, debt to income, what, what, how should they figure that out? What that's, they can afford, you know, a, should they just call you? That's a personal thing for the most part, right? A lot of people say that you should stick to like 28% or less of your um, monthly income as far as what your mortgage payment with taxes, insurance, and everything is in, including. But maybe you're married, but only one of you are, are going on the mortgage and you both work. That debt to income ratio, you guys might be comfortable with a 50% debt to income ratio, and that's okay. We can do that um, because it's 50% of one person's income, not both of you, right? So, um, yeah, just make sure that whatever that payment is, that you're comfortable making that payment month after month. Oh, that's good information. So let's get into some of the don'ts. Absolutely. Some of the don'ts. Don't go buy anything big. What do you mean? We don't go big or go home. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Like we hear that all the time. Do not do call mean? me and say – don't, don't don't let me find new pictures on Facebook of you on your 50-foot yacht, okay? I don't want to <laughs> see that. I don't want to hear about that. Do not do it. What? Your whole purpose in this process, it's 30 days. 
Give us 30 days. Let us get through the process. Then go out and buy that 50-foot yacht. I don't care. Just let us get through it before you do any big purchases like that, you know? So you're saying don't buy a big yacht prior to coming to apply for the mortgage? If you do it before, I might say you're you're not approved. That's okay, okay. if you want to do that. But <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is like you come, you find that house, you come to me and say I want to get a mortgage. We start going through the process, and you find that great deal on that 50 foot yacht on Facebook Marketplace. Call me first. Okay. Don't just go and buy it. You, you, I want you to emphasize that a little bit more because a lot yes. of times, even when people are purchasing vehicles or in that process or approval process, how, just really just reiterate how important that is not to make major purchases, not to call someone to check a credit or anything while you're going through the process because they may not get the house that they're looking for. Is is, is that, please emphasize that. Communication. Mm. Communication is key. If you need to buy a car, right, you have a three-year lease, you're buying a house as your lease is coming due. That's okay. It's okay. Just don't go out and go from a $400 a month lease to a $800 a month lease without talking to me first. That's gotcha. the biggest issue, right? Gotcha. And then if I need to pull credit again throughout the process, you might want to wait until I pull credit for you to pull credit and get that lease. Now, I just heard a rumor that... Um Right before closing, are they still pulling credit reports right before closing to see whether you actually, I know they did back in the day, are they still doing that right before you close just to make this, to see if you purchased anything or you got anything else on your credit report? We keep an eye on you guys. So you apply for a mortgage with us throughout the whole process. We're watching your credit. So we have a undisclosed debt notification that we set up and if you go to Lowe's and buy a new fridge and get a new credit card with them and get your credit pulled, we're going to get notification and we're going to ask you about that. Even if it's a soft inquiry? Uh, soft, not necessarily, but a hard inquiry, right? Okay, so let me, chop t- let me stop trying to tell you how to cheat because you don't need to listen <laughs> to me because I'm not the mortgage person. I'm just a car lady. <laughs> <laughs> so outside of me buying and uh, not buying something big, what else? Should I be looking? Absolutely. Not do. <laughs> should not do. Because, you know, we, we used to go big and go home, right? So you go big and go home don't. later. Right. After, <laughs> after closing, after closing. Look, it, you, you got $5,000 sitting in a jar in your backyard buried in the ground. Don't dig that up and put it in your bank account. Well, just tell me where it is if it's buried in the backyard. Invite <laughs> <Yeah. And it, laughs> me we'll over. Dig it up. <laughs> we'll dig it up before you. We'll put it in our account. <laughs> right. Perfect. No problem. Perfect. <laughs> if you do have cash and you do need to use that throughout the process, give me a call first. Let's figure out how we can make sure that that's documentable. Everything in our business needs to be documented. So if you have a large deposit that goes into your bank, bank account, we need to know where that came from. And if we can't clearly see where that came from on your bank statement that we're going to look at, then we're going to ask you for proof of where it came from. And if you can't provide it other than a dirty shovel and some some dirty shoes, we're, we might have an issue. So, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Queen. What? So why is that, again, important um, not to have that shock to that bank account during this process? Um, because some people feel like, okay, well, there's only cash, and I had it in my is in the shoebox under the mattress. Why can't I just deposit it into the bank account and, and carry it over since y'all checking my credit and doing all those other things? I'm not paying for any new credit cards. What's the problem with me just taking the cash out that I've had in the shoebox and just using that in my uh, savings account and using a debit card for that? What's the problem with that? Is it a loan? Do you have to pay that money back? Is that some some sort of monthly payment that we have to add to your debt to income ratio, mm, right? Okay. Is it illegal monies? Gotcha. Mm, right? Okay. Um, okay. Illegal. All of this stuff is what really matters. And um, it's really more so on the federal government trying to document and make sure they know where all the cash is coming from, right? And then even making sure that where the cash is coming from uh, when you do you give them uh, do you give the borrower a 
30 day, hey, this is what you shouldn't be doing. This is what you should be doing. This is how you can, you know, make ends meet for these 30 days because emergencies come up. You know, you don't, you know, certain things you can't anticipate, right? And mm-hmm. you you may not have the financial means for that. And that's, is that why you're saying communicate? Exactly. Uh, kind of get that out? Okay. Communication. You have something come up, your car broke down, you need to fix it, you need to go buy a new car, just give me a call. Just give me a call. If you're pre-approved and out there looking for a house, and this happens, call me, we'll work through it, we'll figure out the right solution. So I wanna say this, you wanna make sure you do communicate with your um, your mortgage person. That's heavily key, that's really key, is because I just had an example where a good friend of mine, who actually she's joining us in the studio the other day, she's with Stockton Mortgage. She's not saying anything this morning, but her name is Jay. <laughs> and um, so uh, she sent me a customer, and um, I'm not I don't, I'm not saying his name, so I'm not revealing actually his business because it could be anybody because, you know, we all have a slew of customers, right? But he actually bought a brand new house, and he actually used to have company cars before, and he, he listened to Jay. Everything she said, he did. His company said, you know, we're taking, we, we're not doing the company car anymore. Of course, that was a shock to him, but he had a rental. You know what he do? He didn't went to go add no more debt to his credit report. He went and got a rental. It took him 30, what, two months to close, right? But he did exactly what he did. And the reason he didn't go buy that car, because when you go buy a car from us, let me just tell you this, Regina, Queen of Car Loans, we're going to send you where we want to send you to get you pre-approved unless you direct us. So we're going to put a hard pull, not a soft pull in your credit report. And so your, your score is going to come down. So what I'm saying to you is that you got to listen to your mortgage person. And so what he did was after he closed on his house, he came to see me. And actually, he picked up his truck last night from me. He did. He That's did awesome. pick up his truck last night from That's me. That's amazing. So he listened to he listened to his mortgage person, Jay. I'm saying it again. Mm-hmm. It's because he closed. He got his keys. And he said, he called me on three-way. He had Jay on the phone. He said, Regina, I'm ready. I said, ready for what? I'm ready to pick up my truck, right? He picked (laughs) it up last night. But he followed the process. If he had not followed that process, he probably wouldn't. Matter of fact, he wouldn't have closed in that house because you know what? When we're looking at putting you in the car, we're not caring about you going to look for a house. We're caring about you buying that, that particular car right then and there. We're not looking out for your other things that you're doing. I am because that's why they call me the queen, but most salespeople are not. So thank you, Jay, with Stockton Mortgage for sending me that customer. Absolutely. Thank that, you. That was an awesome story, actually. That client was an amazing story. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're all able to help them there. So, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back and we're going to finish up our segment and uh, we'll be right back. Regina, the queen of car loans here with Joe Longhammer, Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others may have roadblocks. Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed and drive in today. Simply Google Regina, the queen of car loans. Ride in style with the queen. Regina, the queen of car loans at Joe Longhammer, Chevrolet in Waterford. Chevrolet, find new roads. Are you paying high interest rates on a car loan? Do you desire to purchase a home, but you're unable to get approved? Perhaps you're repeatedly getting denied for credit when applying for credit cards. Listen, better credit doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. I've helped hundreds of people better their credit and their overall financial situation by applying a simple set of instructions that anyone can follow. Call me today, 1-800-988-9184. That's Kathy White. Washington, your financial impact coach at 1-800-988-9184. Don't delay. Call today. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Longhammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet. Find new roads. You're still listening to Be in the Driver's Seat, and we have Alan Garbasic with Stockton Mortgage. Alan, before we went on break, you were telling us some do's and don'ts when 
buying a, a buying a house. I was gonna say buying, buying a vehicle. A vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> so we buying a house, right? So Alan, let's get back into it. So um, I'm I'm interested. So what would be my first step outside of me knowing how much money I need to, ha- you know, what I can spend when I come? What's my next step with you? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, pre-approval is the number one thing. You want to make sure you know what your what your price range is and everything. What's comfortable for you. Um, come come see us. We'll get you pre-approved. We usually do that within a 24, 48-hour period. So um, it's very easy to do. So just give us a call and we'll, uh, we'll walk you through it. Um, I wanted to go over a couple more things, do's and don'ts wise. Cool? Yeah. Yes. Mm. These sound real simple. You guys ready? Yes. We're sound, always ready. They sound real simple. Don't quit your job. Whoop. <laughs> 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 Don't put your notice that, in before that, you sign your paperwork. Sounds <laughs> sounds very simple, doesn't it? Just just don't quit your job. We, we're we're counting on that income. For you to say that, that means something that that happened. I'm not asking for a specific story. I'm not. I'm not. There's a lot of things that surprise me in law enforcement. This has got to be the one that surprises me outside of this whole realm, is that you would apply for a house, and then quit your job. It's happened. Okay. Let's go to that next one. That's <laughs> I'm gonna leave that right there. I just so okay. so look right. It, it, like if you let's say you have a great little cushy salary job, mm-hmm. making good money, but you're in kind of a sales type position, and another job comes up and you get less base pay, but more commissions. Okay. Right. Okay. That's perfect. You're probably going to make more money. Everything's great, but we don't know that. So all we could count is that base pay. Okay. Right? So switching jobs could be an issue. Quitting your job wholeheartedly, that's definitely an issue. When you're self-employed, so somebody might quit their job and say, I'm opening up a business. I'm going to do this business by myself as, a, as an actual business and I'm going to run. That's an issue. We don't have history of you running a business, so we're going to take that pre-approval right back. Wow. So, Alan, help me out here. So say if I am a a fairly new entrepreneur, but my business has taken off and I can show um, for maybe six months, how does that, you know, how does that work? Is, have you seen in the past people who uh, may be new in business but have revenue coming in? Have you seen them be pre-approved or, you know, even be able to buy the house of their dreams? Usually what we look for, <clears throat> excuse me, is two tax returns mm-hmm. showing that business. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't mean... So two years it, tax returns? Two years of tax returns okay. mm-hmm. showing that business. Doesn't mean two full years of being in business though, right? Because you can start your business in November and have that business all the way through that next year and come see me for a mortgage in April April that next year. Mm. That's not yeah. two years. It's over a year, but it's not two years. So really we're looking for at least a year and two years of tax returns with that business, right? It- those are the important things. So that takes me to the that takes me to let's talk about people being self employed that they want to get a house because, you know, like with a car, you know, I have to walk them through the process, right? Let's just dive into that. What can you share about being self employed? You looking to buy a house? Because we have a lot of people out there. They're entrepreneurs, but they're mm-hmm. millenniums. They're older. They're young as me and Dr. T and Gil. But I mean, but they now they're on their own business. And they have great credit and they want to buy a house. Because back in the day, I think it was called like no doc, right? And yeah. where you didn't have to prove anything. I think you had to be in business a certain period of time. Your score had to be seven something. Because that's how I got my big house back in the day um, with the no doc. So are there still programs all around? That's the ninja. Oh, it's the called no, the ninja now? No income, no job, no assets, right? Ninja. No. Wow. <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't have that anymore. Um, we do have the ninja. We need some assets though. We need a down payment. So on some of those products that are out there that do help business owners that can't really show enough income, we have those those products available for them. Um, some of them can be as much as no job, 
no income, just assets. Well, how much assets though? It depends on the program. So if if you're buying an investment property, uh, we could use the the rental income or the possible rental income on that house and make sure that that rental income is at least the same amount of as the uh, the mortgage payment is. And so that's let, all that we need for income. So let me ask you this question. How, did, how would they report their rental income? If they want to use their in, are you looking forward to going to a certain account? or? So, so the, look at this, right? Okay. If Walk us through that, please. Yeah, if, it, if they're buying a house, if they're buying a rental house, and they want to get a mortgage for it, they got to have 20 to 25% down, okay? We don't need tax returns. We don't need W-2s. We don't need anything for their, their regular day-to-day income. All that we're going to do is we're going to appraise the property, make sure that the value of the, what they're purchasing it at is there. And then we're also going to make sure that appraiser says, tells us how much that property can rent for. And whatever that property can rent for is what we use basically as their income to offset the monthly payment. How do they prove their income far as if they're looking for, if they're looking to refinance their house, right? Mm -hmm. Um, How would they prove their income far as the rental property if they want to use it? So if they've had it for more than a year, Mm -hmm. we're going to require tax returns. And there's a Schedule E on there. So what we do is we use that that income that you report on your tax returns, add back a couple of things, um, depreciation, amortization, um, maybe you have some mileage expense that you're writing off on that property. Um, those things are not real expenses. They're not out of your pocket expenses. So we're able to add those back to that income and then we could calculate the monthly income off of it. If you don't have it for more than a year, then we can simply take the current lease agreement, um, assume that there's a 75% occupancy rate, so basically use 75% of the the income off of that as actual income for you to help you qualify. And I'm asking because too many people are buying houses and then they're trying to, they, you know, they buy them for, say, 20000 or 15000 They put some work in it and they want to refinance in six months, you know, or they want to sell it in six months. Or a lot of them are wanting to refinance. And back in the day, when I will say back in the day, I want to say like 2007, 2008, that's back in the day to me, is that people were doing that all the time. Now, because of the market, things have changed. That's why I'm asking a detailed question because I have friends that have bought sure. houses and they say, you know what, I'm going to refinance. I'm going to refinance. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to do that. And people need to know how do they put together their portfolio. Mm-hmm. They need to be walked through how they put together everything. Just like I walk them through with a car, everybody needs to be walked through with a process. That's why we have you on every month. So Absolutely. If you buy a house today, for the next six months, we will not value that house as far as a mortgage process for any more than what you purchased it for. Mm. Makes sense? Makes sense. Because you might buy it at a very decent discount, but we're not going to use any higher of a value as far as getting you a new mortgage than what you purchased it for for at least the first six months. So if you you buy a house and you want to actually refinance, you need to actually keep the house for longer than six months. You could refinance within that six months, but we're not going to give you more than what you put into it. Basically. Gotcha, gotcha. And most people are most people are trying to get more than what they put into it. Exactly, exactly. I see that a lot. You know, somebody buys a house for fifty thousand that's worth a hundred, put a few bu- few bucks of work into it. Now it's one hundred and twenty five, and they want seventy five thousand dollars out of it. We can't do it until they've been on title for at least six months. Oh, so after the six months, then they can pull it out. They can, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, Alan, um, for those persons that are listening that may have mortgages now and they may need some improvements. So would they pull, you're talking about like after refinancing and things. So could they pull from the mortgage now or what what would be your uh, recommendation for them if they need repairs? So there's special mortgages that you can get that finance in the repairs. Um, And I think we've gone through that before. There's a couple of different mortgage products that we can use to actually finance and repairs. Outside of that, 
a lot of people out there, you guys have 401ks. You could take a loan from your 401k to help you get those repairs done. And that's money that you're paying back to yourself. That's interest that you're paying back to yourself, not to a bank, when you take a loan. Man, so like my homeboys in Philly and Miller, a million dollars worth of game, you just got it in 12 minutes. Um, so we're going to definitely need you to tune in. Alan, where can they reach you at? Absolutely. Uh, so Stockton Mortgage, I'm the branch manager. Um, we're in Bloomfield Hills, right on, almost on the corner of uh, Woodward and Long Lake. My direct line is 248 582 Six six eight zero. Again, that's two four eight five eight two six six eight zero. All right, you heard it. You heard it all this week. I hope you had your pen and paper ready. You can always listen. You listening to us live every Saturday morning from eight thirty a.m. to nine thirty a.m. But you can also go to beinthedriverseat.com. Our show goes up on our website around Tuesday or Wednesday of the of the that coming week after the show plays live on Saturday morning. And you can also listen to previous shows. So thanks for listening to Be in the Driver's Seat this week. Tune in same time next Saturday. Have a good week. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Don't forget to cut that lawn. <laughs> Have a good week. You've been listening to Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. Brought to you. In the driver's seat, a Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. From Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore, thank you for listening.